Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a weighted total column for your Blackboard site. I'm here in one of my Blackboard sites, and I would like to create a weighted total, for example. So I'm going to go to my Grade Center on the left-hand side, my Control Panel, Grade Center, and I'll go to Full Grade Center. Now, most courses already have a built-in weighted total column and if you've got one then you can just use that and we can build on that weighted total column that you already have. If you don't have a weighted total column you can create it and this is one of the only times that you will create a calculated column. If you create regular columns for tests, assignments, things like that, you just create a column. Calculated columns are only going to be for a weighted total. So here's my weighted total column for example and I'm going to click on weighted total on the little uh, chevron right by the name and I will click on edit column information alright so now I'm in the weighted total column and I can now edit it I can change the name if I like um, I can have a primary display and a secondary display I'll leave the percentage as the primary display. And if I scroll down, any columns that I've created, I can go ahead and move over to the columns that are going to be weighted columns. So for example, here's a, an assignment that I created. And I click on that assignment, and then I use the little arrow key over here. I click on that, and it'll move that assignment over to the side. And I can do the same thing with the final essay. I'll move that over to the side. And now I can give them points. So let's say this assignment is worth 40%, and this assignment is worth 60%, just for, for an example. Um, it'll show me my total weight over here. And I don't have to have exactly 100% total weight. So if I haven't created all my columns yet, I could sort of partially do this. So if I said 50%, for example, and I haven't created the 10%, the column that's going to be worth 10% yet, I can do that later. Now you'll see my total weight is 90%. And that's basically it. Um, you can set some of these things. Calculate as running total, um, if you like. <clears throat> you can change the options. And then you click on Submit. and it's going to warn you the sum of the weights is not 100% and it'll ask you if you want to continue. Go ahead and continue, but you'll just have to remember to go back in and add that last column and the weight that's 10%, whatever. And that's how you make a weighted total. 